hope i am live yeah so hey guys uh welcome back so today agenda is you know how to show a uh, real time project if you are planning to switch manual to automation so you know i try to come you know every weekend live friday you know some you know today we have at some time you know we are logging off early right so i thought i spend the time here okay guys so uh today i came live okay so why uh you know this session we have so many of manual tester are having a lot of the gap right because of any reason or if you are working in your different profile right so the people who is struggling to show what project you have to show in automation if you are attending uh interview right as experience like you have a you are showing three or three year of experience or more than three year or two year right and second thing you know the people are also are struggling you know how many how many pro project you have to show okay like if you are showing a uh, three year experience in automation right or if you have a lot of the guy like four year or five year right so how many project you have to show in your resume or how to show the proper project but before showing or before putting your project in your resume you have to prepare well otherwise you have to struggle lot okay so see uh, many of the people having the lots of the fear uh, i am a manual tester i did not uh, uh, you know work right i did not work in real time so what will happen right nothing will happen so we are working from long time in automation profile i have work in the multiple uh, you know project right so i can guide you before going for the interview or i can guide you like uh, you know when you are planning to attend the interview right so what uh, what do you have to do before that right so before you have to do the proper practice right so how to do the practice how to reach the level of experienced people because you are showing as experience you did not work before in your in your automation profile then how to reach like if you are a fraser or if you are a manual tester before you did not work in the automation profile so how to reach out to that level of the skill you know so we can do that right so same thing what we are doing in the uh, in real time we can do ourselves as well but we have to follow some process you have to do lot of the practice you know so again you know you have a very good uh, Uh, what i can tell if you have a very good basics if you don't have a basics clear then you cannot uh, you know you know you, you, even you are not able to crack the interview right so technical a skill is important you have to learn as experience level so i'm just going to come again about of my topic you know how to show your real time project right so if you are a manual tester or if you having the gap you don't know what the project you have to show in your resume so first of all you have to learn java you having the very good knowledge in the java otherwise you will stuck in your interview that is the one thing you have to take care second thing we have to take care you know logic development part okay actually many of many automation test engineer they are going to stuck in your logical programming right so you have to block your time to do the practice this is the one level because in the real time also you have to write some code right you have to develop some logic so this is the one thing second steps your selenium part basics to advanced level then you have to learn the framework you having the knowledge of to develop the framework you already know that here the most of the people who is already done the courses but they are not doing the practice for the framework that is the you know again big problem if you are not aware of the framework please do not start your interview guys so otherwise you will stuck in the interview unfortunately or fortunately will get the job then you will stuck in the company so first you have to learn the framework then after that you have a knowledge of you know e to e the how the framework is working right then after that what you have to do you can take any application 
if you can take uh, banking application or e-commerce so i will suggest you can go for the e-commerce because e-commerce we are frequently using this right if you, you know how to use so at least you have to write manual test cases like 50 to 100 test cases you can write manually might be you have a join the people who did not work in the manual also right so you have a project from the scratch level you have to start your manual then you have to start your automation right so in this scenario you will not stuck got it right so this thing you have to take care then what will happen you are very good in uh, one uh, like you have automated 50 test cases you can take any domain guys so i will suggest you can go for the e-commerce e-commerce we are already using that so you can you know learn the e-commerce very you know easy way at least you can write 50 test cases and you can show them the same thing in your resume one thing the people are stuck which application we have to show right which application you have to show in your resume so you can take any application on your uh, you know you can take from the google like you are not working you are showing some fake experience i simple i'm going to give you the example so that people will not call you in your company for the verification this guy uh, you know they will not <laughs> ask you uh, this project is belong to you know this client and all right they will they will never ask you right so here you will get the confidence okay so this is the same thing when you will join the company then we have a, some framework if you don't have a framework if you are showing more than five years of experience you will get the chance to develop the framework so that thing you should know because you don't know the what type of the project they will assign to you but if you have a knowledge of the development of the framework you are uh, easy to handle this all the stuff right so that is the one thing then same project you can put in your resume right and if the interviewer will ask you what is your roles and responsibility in your automation profile you can tell the same thing we are doing also the same thing in the company right you have automated at least 50 test cases at least you have remembered uh, you know 20 or more than 30 test cases so you can explain hey this these are the domain i have used and uh, these are the test cases i have automated and you can uh, tell the roles and responsibility as well right creating the page object uh, you know finding the element right i'm not going to yeah, discuss that tell me about yourself so so why you are going to you know the many people are having the lots of the fear like what will happen nothing will happen here if you are good in the skill even the real people real the people who already work in the real time they are going to a stuck because because many exception and many error are coming in the real time right so definitely the people is going to a stuck but we can find the solution on the google so please do not fear you can uh, do the uh, proper practice and all and definitely you know uh, you can reach on your destination so today uh, this is my agenda so many of the people are asking what project you have to mention and all one more thing i want to uh, suggest you if you are showing two years of experience in automation, you can put only one project. If you are showing three years of experience also, you can put only one project. If you are showing more than two, three years experience, then you can put two projects. Either you can put even for uh, you know e-commerce and you can take the banking application. So same thing you can do for the banking application also. You can take any URL, or if you if you are uh, if you are not able to find the application, so please reach out to me. I will provide you some URL. The same application you can show in your project, and you can automate at least 50 test cases. You can write, and you can automate using the framework, right? So like that, you can if you are showing six year, like you can put uh, more than three or two project. Again, it depend upon your how much you are doing the practice and all right and what type of the project you are showing if you have a big application then you know that uh, two project is you know enough for you guys so that's all uh, in this uh, session guys so if you so i don't have any planning just i have a time i came live to discuss this all the things okay so that's all so might be uh, every weekend i'm trying to come in the live if if i am free okay if i am not sorry if i am not free 
then I, I'm, I'm uploading the video i already have a many video on that you guys can go and you can watch that that okay that's all in this video guys so thank you so much and see you in the next uh, session guys and please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification so in the next uh, i think a lot of people are live here i will upload this video then people can watch this video as well so this video will get in my youtube channel also you can just go through that and you can refer that so thank you so much and see you in the next session and bye bye and happy weekend